think a lot of people are going to give up car ownership going forward. But we think that this sort of transportation service is really going to help communi connect communities in a way that uh, buses and other transportation systems can't. We see that sort of same approach of where we want to get to and how to start simply to get there. I have no doubt that the auto industry will change more in the next five to ten years than it has in the last 50. The Model T changed everything. It changed where people could live, where they played, where they worked. We have that ability to get, again, to define the quality of life for people around the world. The possibilities for ideas how to make money off of off of the back of the automated automated vehicles is is limitless. Welcome back to Driving Innovation and Mobility. When it comes to this evolution, the most obvious change will be how we get around. So you're the safety driver, so you always want to pay attention to what's going on around you. Okay, if you don't like it, you got it. Yeah. Okay. Paul Flack, who grew up on a farm near Kalamazoo, loved to tinker with cars in his family's barn. He's had a lifelong love affair with automobiles. Our, our mobility base, that's a product that we produce right here in southeast Michigan. It's almost, it's like a small automatic guided vehicle that would be used for factory automation. I think today uh, we want to make a car that's safer. And by making it a, a driverless car, you're, 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 the, the ultimate goal in doing that obviously is to relieve the burden on the driver to free them up to do other things. But the end result is to make a safer driving experience. It went on its own. There oh my you gosh. Go. So <laughs> what you would see is if you did this, um, it would repeat this, the same path a thousand times over because it's all being driven yeah. from a computer using precision GPS. I'm very proud of the fact that we can do in, in southeast Michigan what t traditionally is thought of can only be done in California in the, the technology areas of California. We can do a lot of what they're doing in that area, we can do it right in Michigan. And we need to do it in Michigan, if we, especially in the automotive sector. We, we don't want to give up we don't want to concede that part to California. Chris Thomas grew up in Waterford and knew he wanted to make a difference in the world. After graduating from Michigan State, he worked as a technology investment banker in San Francisco, served as an army officer in Iraq, and went to Yale. It was during that time in a summer internship at Ford where he met Bill Ford. That led to the launching of Fontanella's Partners, a venture capital company started by Chris, Bill Ford, and several others focused on supporting and helping the next generation of mobility companies. The thing that mobility is going to do, which I'm incredibly excited about, is it's going to give us all back our most precious commodity, which is our time. And so if I can cut a commute from two hours to half an hour, if I can ensure that people are able to work while they're en route to a certain location, so as to be able to enjoy time with their family, whatever they want to do when they arrive, that's going to be a huge step change. Ami Doten, who was a venture capitalist and who's from Israel, decided to start a new company with three other entrepreneurs called Karumba Security. He's getting financial support from Fontenelle's partners and moved to Detroit in 2016 to be near the action. His company is providing breakthrough technology to keep cars, including autonomous vehicles, safe from hackers. You believe that a, a new Dreamliner has got only 15 million lines of code where a, a normal car or advanced car has got 100 million lines of code. Why is that so significant? Because there is a rule of thumb. Every 16 to 1800 lines of code, there is a bug. Approximately 10% serve as or end up as security vulnerability. It's all about safety. This is no longer cybersecurity. From cybersecurity to drones to autonomous vehicles, just about everything in how we work, live, and play will be changing in the years ahead. As the world changes, Detroit and Michigan are transforming and growing too in areas of autonomous vehicles, the startup community, and venture capital funding for mobility solutions. How will Michigan fare in this changing landscape? With all the things taking place, will it be enough to make us the mobility capital of the world? Only time can answer that question. For CBS 62's Eye in the Future, Driving Innovation and Mobility, I'm Carol Kane.